Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. Looks like I was ahead of the power curve, huh? I called it the day it happened. Article on NBC News, Boeing 737 MAX jets to be grounded by FAA emergency order, Trump says. Trump said the FAA's planned action comes in light of new information and physical evidence about the jet model that has had two deadly crashes in less than six months. I gotta believe that physical evidence came from the black boxes. I called it. I called it. Written by Ben Kesslin and Farnoosh Amiri, that's capital A-M-I-R-I. -I. President Donald Trump announced an upcoming emergency order grounding Boeing 737 MAX jets in the wake of the Ethiopian air crash on Sunday and the line air crash accident in October that totally killed 345 people. His announcement comes as the Federal Aviation Administration has been under mounting pressure from aviation advocates and others to ban flights of the planes pending the completion of investigations into the Ethiopian air crashes Sunday that killed 157 people and lying air accident in Indonesia in October in which 189 people perished. We're going to be issuing an emergency order, a prohibition to ground all flights of the 737 MAX 8 and the 737 MAX 9 and planes associated with that line, Trump announced, referring to new information and physical evidence that we've received in addition to some complaints. wonder if you got my videos, huh? What do you think? The planned emergency order also follows similar directives from a growing number of countries around the world, including Canada, European nations, and China, grounding the MAX 8 and MAX 9 aircraft. The Boeing Company, Chicago-based corporation and aircraft manufacturer design, said it's recommended to the FAA that it ground its entire global fleet of 371 jets that are MAX 8 or MAX 9 models. Hmm. Boeing recommended it. Boeing has determined out of abundance of caution in order to reassure the flying public of the aircraft's safety to recommend the FAA the temporary suspension of operations of the entire global fleet of these jets, the company said. So it wasn't the FAA that did it, it was Boeing. We are supporting this proactive step out of abundance of caution, Boeing said. We are doing everything we can to understand the cause of the accident in partnership with the investigation, deploy safety enhancements, and help ensure this does not happen again. Well, you know what it is, don't you? It's the angle of attack sensor. That's exactly what it is. Folks, I'm telling you, that's what I believe it to be. That's what I believed it to be at the beginning when it first happened. A Democratic Senator of Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee said he believes the recent government shutdown played a part in the delay of the installation of new enhanced safety software in the Boeing jets. So now they're blaming this on Trump. Huh? <laughs> They're blaming this on Trump. The government shutdown obviously aggravated and exaggerated the failure of the FAA, Senator Richard Blumenthal. This guy's a piece of shit. This is the same guy that said he fought in Vietnam and he was never in Vietnam. Now they're blaming Trump. Shutdown of the government. Referring to the agency timetable for installing the new software after the October accidents. The airline should be held accountable, the senator said. They had the new software and they knew of problems with the sensors on the jets. Prior to Trump's announcement, Canada was the latest country to ground the MAX 8 and the MAX 9 jets. Canadian Transport Minister Mark Garono said earlier Wednesday that the aircraft would not be allowed to fly into this country's airspace. The safety notice is effective immediately and will remain in place until further notice, Garono said in a statement. The European Union, China, and Iraq, and airlines such as Aeromexico also banned flights of the Boeing MAX 8 and MAX 9 Sunday crash, pending safety assurances. Bono said the country's requirements for the new procedures and training went above and beyond the measure directed by the United States Federal Aviation Administration and Boeing. On Wednesday, former Department of Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood said he would be concerned about flying on a Boeing 737 MAX 8 plane. You, uh, tell you folks, 
I was ahead of this. I called it. And they're doing the right damn thing. Like I said, these planes are perfectly fine. The software, angle of attack, sensor, that's what I believe is the problem. They'll rectify it. But until they do, they got to be on the ground. I'll attach the link. Thanks for listening. The lawsuits will be massive, as they should be. Pass this along to your like-minded friends. Repost it in all your social media accounts. I called it, didn't I?